Hey guys, it's Michael here. I finally made it up this hill. It was actually more slippery than the other day. But I really have to get into work tomorrow. Oh shit. So I didn't have a choice. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't manage to get those glove things onto the bike. Because they're pressing on the starter end motor button every time I turned, so that's not good for the bike. And every time I turn the other way, it pressed on the horn. You sure? Well, nobody around this time on a Sunday, of course. Fuck yeah, I'm at the top of the hill. Come on. Look. <sighs> So you know, probably should have gone right me too. Whoa. So, anyway guys, I know I'm a bit late with this, but I haven't been able to ride for a while. Um, you probably all heard by now the unfortunate news about Sven Gardi, who passed away. It's a big shame, because um. I've been watching this video for a while, I mean with my other channel. But that hasn't got anything to do with motor vlogging, so I won't bother giving it to you. And he's actually one of the reasons, well he's the reason, I discovered and wanted to try motor vlogging. Because I, it's after watching all his videos, it seemed fun and brought so much fun and joy to me that I thought, oh well, if I can bring even a fraction of the happiness that he gave me, I'd be very happy indeed. Steam up there, because Christ, it's, co it's not cold, but... It's not cold, but it's just steaming up anyway. But yes, it's a big shame that he's passed away. Because he was, what he was, well, in my opinion, I know people are saying he's the second, well, fuck, he's the second motor vlogger, but he's always been my favorite. And he had some really fun original videos. He didn't just content with riding around. He, you know, he got off the bike and gave us some really funny comedy. That was funny on the bikes as well. I still, one of my favorite videos of his is himself, Dan and Stu riding through a field full of cows. That was hilarious. And this is icy as fuck. Sorry, I'm off topic. But yeah, his his funeral's sometime soon. I think on the 16th. And he's at, they, his family has said he's so sh he was such a big part of motor vlogging. That his um his funeral's actually become uh, public. Well, not public. That sounds bad. I'm just saying that wrong. But I mean, if you are in the area. I'll put links down below to his channel because he's actually got a um his family has started a Facebook page and you can get info on there. But for those like me who can't get around to England but still want to pay their respects, they also have a um a, what's it called? A live a live video so you can follow the funeral at home. But, um, yes, as I said, he is really one of the, he is the reason I started motor vlogging, and one of the reasons I thought to myself, right, well, I want a bike. Like, before I was doing my, well, before I rode, and before I got my license, and even whilst the bike was in the shop, I'd watch his videos and think to myself, man, I miss doing that. He's also the man responsible for my love affair with the ZZR. I haven't got one yet because I haven't got the big license, but when I do, I want to get one. I'm not right away, obviously, but. Oops. But yeah. Um. And yeah, on top of that, so this is going to be loud. But, um. 
yeah, he also wanted me to try dirt biking because he's got some really fun off-roading videos. As I said, I'll put a link to his channel down below. I mean, I, I was really saddened to see he died because I was really in, I don't know, I really wanted to go and buy him a beer. I promised I would and I couldn't quite keep that promise, to which I'm sorry, mate. But, uh, to be honest, I don't really know what to say. I've kind of been lost for words about it all. It almost doesn't seem real, you know? But, sure enough. I just wanted to say to his family, to his friends, especially Dan and Stu. I mean, I, I can't even begin to imagine what it must feel like. Because, I mean, I feel upset about it, and I... Apart from watching his vlogs, I'd never met the guy. Sorry for all this wind, by the way. So, I mean, to those who knew him, he seemed like such a nice guy. It must have been immense loss. And to his kids as well. But anyway, by the time this is uploaded, I find um, they give us a link to the funeral. I'll um, look that up. But I know I'm going to be missing work, but I want to I wanna be at least there online. So yeah, anyway, mate, you're a real legend. Definitely here in my eyes, anyway. And if, as I said, if my vlogs can bring even a... even the tiniest little touch of joy, even a fraction of what you bought me through your vids, mate, I'll be honest. So, I mean, beautiful way to end this then. Nice straight road, beautiful sunny days. Let's hope you're up there green laning or riding the roads. The best way you can, freely, eh? Anyway, mate, rest in peace, ride in peace. Maybe see you up there someday. Hey. Thanks for watching guys, my little send off, I mean I hope it's, well, it's probably quite a poor one, but anyway, I just felt that I, I wanted to do a video, even if it has just been rambling, I still wanted to do it. Hey, thanks for watching guys, and see ya. There's a police up here. Anyway, see ya guys. Look. Cool.